Why do you think that religions have attracted more people to their philosophies than objectivism has attracted people to its? Well, first of all, they had much longer time. Now, remember, mm -hmm. <laughs> religion is older than objectivism. I don't think I would want to attract as many people as religions do, but the real and serious answer is this. Religion is a primitive form of philosophy, because what religion and philosophy have in common is that it's a system of background premises. Uh, it gives you a frame of reference, a context, in fundamental terms, and then you leave the concretes of your mm -hmm. life accordingly. So religion is primitive canned philosophy, if you want to. It gives you canned answers, and it says here you can rely on it. You don't need to think. It will tell you what to do in practically every situation. Just obey us. Take us on faith. Well, why do people accept it? Because nobody can live without a philosophy. Mm -hmm. Even the most primitive, unthinking yeah. man needs something to tie all of his actions, ideas, and his life together. He needs integration. Religion provides it to him ready-made. Philosophy, properly, does the same thing, but it offers an idea, a context to his mind, and it demands of him that he judge it that he use his own intelligence to understand and then to accept the kind of basic premises that he'll live his life by. In my youth, I was well-schooled in religious doctrine, and I would not for a second say to you that I now believe in it as dogmatically as I did when I was a young person and had it taught That's to me by rote, all right? But I still wouldn't want to think that all of us pass through the experience of life and then when it comes to an end, that's simply the end of it, and it has no other purpose. I'm kind of trapped there. I would like to think that there is something beyond the end of this thing we call life. But tell me, supposing you were convinced that there isn't, what difference would it make to you now? Oh, it would make a tremendous difference to me. Yeah, I think so. But it would, for the better. Well, you see, I think for the worse. Why? I wouldn't. I, I wouldn't like to believe that uh, when this body dies, that this spirit is all, is now gone. That it's it's uh, it's uh, it's defeated. It's not not defeat. Uh, think of it the other way. If you know that this life is all that you have, wouldn't you make the most of it? Well, Rather I, than think, well, uh, well if, I if I don't enjoy this life, I'll have limitless number of lives coming yet i can be wasteful of my own life no i don't think that i don't think that i would want to waste a second of this i do waste some seconds and i'll bet ayn rand wastes some oh, a lot. some seconds or also. is not wasted yes you mean i'm doing nothing whatever mm -hmm. just drifting well or creatively wasting time creative waste that's right all right but i still would like to think not that i want to come back as a maharaji or anything like that but i just I tend to think of this whole thing as ongoing, that there is an eternity, and that we are going to be a part of that eternity, that we aren't just corpses and graves when we die. But we aren't corpses and graves. We are not there. Don't you understand that when this life is finished, you're not there to say, oh, how terrible that I'm a corpse. No. Well, this is true. It's yeah. finished. And uh, what I've always uh, thought was a sentence from some Greek philosopher, I don't unfortunately remember who it was, that I read at 16, and it's affected me all my life. I will not die. It's the world that will end. And that's absolutely true. And, you know, for me now, it should be a serious question, because my time is fairly limited, and I have the same feeling, that I will enjoy life to the last moment, and when it's the end, I don't have to worry about it. I'm not there. It's too bad that the world will end, and I think a very wonderful world will end with me. But I've had my time. I can't complain. Ayn Rand does not fear death, does she? No. Only the death of someone I love, but not my own. <laughs>